Hi, I'm Mike Green with Optic Cyber Solutions, and today I'll be providing a brief overview of a plan of action and milestones, some of its key elements, and why it may be helpful for your cybersecurity program. So a plan of action and milestones, also referred to in the industry as a POAM, is essentially a document that tracks identified weaknesses, um, typically at the system level, although it could be at the enterprise level. And it does track those remediation efforts against defined milestones um, as agreed upon by the relevant stakeholders. Um, the POEM is described or formally described in this 837, uh, which is the risk management framework. And it is a required artifact for FISMA, FedRAMP, um, CMMC as an example, <clears throat> um, to kind of help with that remediation effort. Um, high level, I guess you could kind of look at it as a program um, management plan, security focus on reducing risk across the, um, the organization or system. Uh, we have found it helpful that uh, organizations that don't have strict compliance requirements or, you know, define uh, CMMC or FISMA requirements, that it is a helpful document to kind of track uh, improvements across the cybersecurity program over time. Uh, here we have an example poem uh, that I'll kind of walk through um, high level. There are some key elements of a poem and I'll kind of touch on those here, but it is um, important to, to note that organizations um, can tailor programs, although there are key elements, um, organizations can tailor these to their specific um, you know, requirements for their systems. So you could have more, more details, less details, but some of the key ones here, I mean, I'll kind of walk through are, you know, obviously we want to know what system we're aligning against. Um, dates are very important for, um, you know, for keeping the poem updated. The poem ID, I uh, do want to, so a poem holistically is um, what you see here. It's a, it's a representation of the uh, weaknesses within the system. And then within a poem, you have poem IDs, which are specific IDs to kind of track against the defined weaknesses. So here you see the uh, one example here, uh, we're going to track it, track it against control AC1, security weakness, et cetera, et cetera. And as you can see within a poem, you can have several poem IDs um, as we're kind of tracking those weaknesses. So that is a key item uh, within a poem. Another one is the security weakness, and you'll see that um, in one of the columns here. So what is the, um, the weakness that we're tracking? It's clear, concise description of the weakness um, and how it affects or impacts the uh, relevant system or application. Uh, responsible party, this is a very important item as well. Um, here we want to identify uh, who is the person or team responsible for ensuring that the remediation is, um, or the, the progress, the, um, Vulnerability is remediated in accordance with the defined uh, remediation plan, which leads us to the next item. Remediation plan um, is really key. Um, and depending on the sophistication of the remediation effort, remediation plan could be very detailed. Typically in the poem, it's high level. It kind of defines the uh, uh, direction that will be taken by the relevant um, responsible party, which could include multiple um, different organizations or teams. You could have, you know, as an example, security engineering, working with platform engineering to ultimately remediate um, the defined weakness. So remediation plan is very key here um, on how the, uh, the weakness will be ultimately uh, mitigated. Timeline is important as well uh, for the overall remediation timeline. So uh, plan remediation, um, when the schedule, uh, when it's scheduled to be completed, and in addition to that, any planned milestones, so any interim updates or interim uh, implementations of uh, remediation efforts shall also be defined. And then finally, status um, updates, so the status date here. Um, a poem should be reviewed. Um, typically, it's a, it's a frequency, um, and it depends on organization. It could be monthly, it could be quarterly. Um, it really depends. Typically, we've seen monthly um, really works where you're kind of ensuring you get the relevant stakeholders together to kind of talk through um, remediation efforts, any closures of poems, any updates to poems, just to ensure that the poem overall does remain um, up to date and kind of really re reflects the current security posture of the system. So some of the key benefits of a poem um, captures known and discovered weaknesses uh, from remediation. Optimally, the poem should be developed during the system development phase, or you know immediately thereafter. We have a uh, you know minimally viable product just to ensure that we, any weaknesses are tracked and remediated throughout the life cycle of the system. Another key item is that uh, identifies the stakeholders and subject matter experts to um, ensure that remediation efforts are completed. Um, as appropriate within defined timeframes. It also allows for prioritization of remediation efforts um, and the appropriate re resource allocations, which can be key. Um, you know, you can define the and understand the weakness, but you want to ensure that you have the appropriate resources allocated to ensure that um, 
those those remediation efforts are ongoing and, and effective. <clears throat> also ensure that weaknesses are addressed in a timely manner. Um, the overall security posture of the system is continually improved, promotes um, ongoing review and updates. Um, as I mentioned, monthly is a pretty typical cadence. and really want to ensure that um, that the, the poem remains relevant to the system. So as the system migrates and changes, that the poem does accurately reflect um, any weaknesses, um, either open or closed. Um, and with that, the poem is a living document that should be maintained throughout the, um, the life cycle of the system. So it should contain both open and closed poems to kind of show that holistic history of the poem itself. And, you know, uh, as, as, as much as possible, kind of represent the current security posture of the system um, as it as it operates um, in its operational environment. So I just want to leave you with a few resources here. Uh, as I mentioned, 837, which describes the risk management framework, does describe how the poem is used um, for FISMA um, in that in that document. Also, the NISTER 8286 um, A also shows how it can be used um, at the enterprise level uh, poem. And then lastly, have the FedRAMP uh, poem template, uh, which is pretty robust. It, it is a prescribed template for um, FedRAMP, but it can also be used, as I mentioned, to tailor for your organization um, as you get started with your POAM. Um, Optic, we also have resources to kind of help you um, on your journey for any cybersecurity maturity um, or program uplift. Uh, definitely feel free to take a look at those resources and, you know, obviously feel free to reach out um, if you um, care to discuss the POAM or any other types of uh, cyber-related topics. We'd be glad to help. Thank you.